let's start actually the, the orientation for uh, the faculties of engineering. Okay? Now, um, you have already taken the first decision and you have already decided to join the School of Engineering and you are taking the first year, the first year courses where all of you will be taking the same courses, let's say, till the end of this semester. Okay? Now, last week, you had a presentation about the Faculty of Engineering and Material Science. Now, what I will do throughout, let's say, this presentation is to tell you actually something about the logistical part, how to select, when you should select, why you should select a specific faculty, and last but not least, I will actually tell you today, let's say, good news, which corresponds actually to the question, where could you study the study programs that you will be selecting after the second semester? I will come actually to this part in a few minutes. Okay? Gamat Berlin, khalastul picture? Okay. Now, let me start with the first, let's say, logistical part. In order that you don't get actually confused, I will repeat what was said last week if you haven't attended the orientation. Now you are in the second semester. This semester you will be asked to choose one of the faculties, and we have three. The first faculty that has already presented its major is the Faculty of Engineering and Material Science. Starting by now, I will call it the EMS faculty. Whenever you decide for this faculty, you do not decide only for the faculty, but you decide for the major. Meaning, you have to know which major you have to select if you will go and select the faculty of EMS, Engineering and Material Science. Thus, you have the choice between material engineering, design and production, and last but not least, mechatronics. You have to do the selection after the second semester. Now, people who do not want to join EMS, they will have the choice between two faculties. The first faculty is the Faculty of Information Engineering and Technology. There will be a presentation afterwards about it. And the second faculty will be the Faculty of Media Engineering and Technology. And I'm honored, actually, to give the presentation to you about this faculty Okay, what you expect actually from there whenever you join it, why you should join it, once you join it, what are we expecting from you to bring as a luggage, luggage with you to this faculty? And last but not least, you have always to ask yourself, what am I expecting from the other faculty to deliver? Because at the end of the day, you have to expect something from joining a faculty in this case. Okay? Now, uh, I will go back, just actually talking about IET and MET. For third semester, both, let's say, majors, all students will be taking the same courses, and that's why you are still having the possibility to change, let's say, the selection, okay? If you decided for IET, and at the end of the day, you will decide to go to MET, you can do it even after the third semester. In this case, you have this possibility to do it. The main problem is, if you decide actually to join EMS, and after one semester you notice you don't like it, you don't like the courses, it's not what you expected, then actually most probably you will have a problem with courses that you haven't taken in some of the majors. You will be delayed, you will, be having, you will have to take some summer courses in this case, which will be a small problem okay, that you have actually to accommodate in this case. However, today the presentation is about IET and MET. You will go, you will select one of the faculties, and in the third semester, if you want to change your mind, you can actually do it. Why? Because all courses will be the same. Starting by the fourth semester, okay, you have to decide either for IET and MET because some of the courses will be overlapping, but some of the courses, they won't be overlapping, meaning courses will be offered to MET and not to IET and vice versa. Okay, thus, you still have time if you have already decided for IET or MET this semester to change your mind later. Okay, now, let me uh, tell you uh, something that you have actually to keep in mind. Independent which faculty you want, you have to join, or which faculty you want to join, or which faculty your parents 
would like you to join. Because at the end of the day, it's a kind of life decision that you have to take. Okay? There are five questions you have always to ask yourself. Let's say these five questions before actually starting to make a decision. The first actually question is, why is this faculty important? Okay, because we are talking Delwati in 2019. Your question will be always, in 2050, how the world will be? Will I have a possibility to find a job? Okay, let's say in the major that I am studying now, yes or no? Meaning you have always actually to think about the future. Second question that you have to ask yourself, what will I study? If I join IET, what kind of courses will I take there? If I join MET, which courses will I take there? Okay, now, most probably if you have already taken some CS courses, you got actually a flavor of, let's say, the focus of the faculty of MET. Now, your question will be, what will be the focus, what will be the flavor in a faculty like IET or EMS in this case? Now, why do you have to ask this question? Because at the end of the day, you have actually to decide or you have to ask yourself, the courses that I will be taking, do they match my talents, yes or no? Do I like them, yes or no? Because in a nutshell, I will tell you a statement. Independent which faculty you will join here at the GUC, or at the GUC, you will be suffering for the next four years. We will come later actually to this word, don't actually misunderstand me, but I will actually tell you something. I will tell you something actually for life. If you like something and you do it, you will excel in it. Even if you are not good, okay? Because actually some of the questions will be later. Do I have to be a perfect programmer to join MET? Then actually my answer will be, if you are a perfect programmer, you really do not need actually to join MET at all because you have it already. And that's why the question that you have to ask yourself, do I like it? Do I like the computational thinking? I am not good in it, but once actually I sit and I start actually to solve problems, I really like it, but I don't get it. It doesn't matter. You won't get it actually from the beginning, but one day you will get it. It's like actually going to the gym, and I'm sorry, I will relate actually my presentation a lot actually to the gym, and you want to have muscles. You want to look nice. Okay, now you cannot actually do it just by looking at the mirror because the mirror will not do anything for you. Now what you have to do is you have to excel. You have to practice. The more you practice, the more your, let's say, body will look nice. And the nice thing is you will like it more and you will get addicted actually to it. The same actually for studying because at the end of the day, and I said it already in my first orientation, you will be studying here at the GUC for five years. Just keep in mind, this will be the best five years in your life, okay? You will say, no, it's too much work. Okay, I really, I'm having a lot of things actually to be done. I will tell you, once you go and work, you will be having actually more problems. Once you are having a family, you do not have a problem only with yourself but you will be having your problem, problem with your partners as well with your kids, meaning the problems actually will become bigger. Okay, now let me go to the fourth question. The fourth question is um, the faculty. What kind of environment, what kind of lecturers are teaching there? What kind of professors are teaching there? Do I like them? Do I like actually, let's say, communicating with them? Because at the end of the day, you will be spending most of the time here, and you have to like actually the faculty where you are. Thus, the environment of the faculty will be actually one aspect that you have actually to look at. Okay? Last but not least, the most important question. You are not studying just actually for the sake of studying. You joined the German University in Cairo, and I'm sorry to tell you, your parents are spending hell of money in your education. That's actually the question is, will this pay back, yes or no? What kind of career opportunities will I have? Meaning, you are not studying for the sake of studying, but you are studying to acquire knowledge. Once you have actually this knowledge, you want to apply it. Once you want to apply it, you want to see it in terms of money. And that's why the question is, what kind of career opportunities do I have whenever I decide to join EMS, MET, or IT? I will tell you something about it later, whenever we go actually to MET. 
Okay, now, the five questions are questions that are related to the when, okay, and uh, when and why. When do I have to select and why do I have actually to select the faculty? The third, the last question is, uh, where should I do it? Okay, just news, good news. Most of the students, they don't know about the news yet. Most probably you will be the first batch, the first group of people knowing about actually the new opportunity that you will have now. Starting by the third semester, you can decide to pursue your studies here at the German University in Cairo, but you are having a new opportunity where you decide to join the GUC Berlin campus, and we have a campus in Berlin, a nice one. Third term students for the first time will be able actually to join. And the good news that we heard about them two days ago is the following. If you decide actually to study there in Berlin, at the GUC Berlin campus, for the next six semesters, for 50%, meaning for a minimum of three semesters during the next six semesters, you will be able to get and earn a German degree, okay? Which wasn't the case before. Berlin campus was having a program, and this program is called the Semester Abroad Program. You go for one semester, you come back, you pursue your studies, you get your degree from the German University in Cairo, and your degree will be an Egyptian one. Delwati and the message, you have to digest it a little bit, because at the end of the day, you have to decide whether you want to do it, yes or no. You have to discuss it with your parents, and the opportunity is that we will be opening a registration soon. You will get an, e an email. Stay tuned, okay? You will get actually an email telling you the registration is open for the third semester. It's not for a semester abroad program, but for a degree program from the German University in Cairo in Berlin. We have that a campus, and there will be no extra fees, meaning what you are actually paying here, you will be paying actually there. Thus, there will be no extra fees, except actually the living expenses and so on. Okay, now, the question is, what's, what's the, stop talking please, what's the benefit of joining such a program? Okay, now, the benefits are diverse. The benefits, you can actually think about them. At the end of the day, what you will have in your hand, you will be granted a German degree. And there are actually many benefits before or during your studies as well as after your studies. I will start actually with the benefits after your studies. According to the German law, if you are having a degree from a German university, you will be having a residency permit for one year after graduation, and during actually this year, you are entitled to find actually a job in Europe. And I will tell you something about the career opportunities whenever you will join MET in Berlin, what kind of career opportunities you have actually there. Thus, the door will be open actually for you to search, to seek actually for jobs actually there. Okay? Now, you will be having a residency permit you will be having, at the same time, a working permit. That means during your studies, you will be able to work, for sure, for a specific number of hours. 20 hours, let's say, per week, you will not be allowed, actually, to exceed that. Last but not least, during, actually, the summer, you are having, actually, a work permit, and what you can do is you can actually get some internships, you can work, and so on. That means during your studies, you can work as a part-timer. Okay, now, once you are having a work permit and a residency permit, the possibility to do an internship abroad will be for sure higher. It's easier to get actually a job there. Okay, and last but not least, if you want, actually, if you cannot afford the living expenses, you are entitled to apply for something we call a study loan from the German state. You will be able actually to get granted this actually study loan. You will pay it back whenever actually you go to work. Thus, you are having a lot of opportunities. And last but not least, you will be living in Berlin. It's a world city. You will have the possibility in this case to travel around, let's say, around Europe, let's say, going actually from Berlin. Thus, the message is 
after the third sem after the second semester, you have the choice also not only between IET, EMS, and MET, but actually also between should I stay here in Cairo for the next six semesters, or is it possible actually for me to go not as a continuous, let's say, duration. I can go for one semester, come back for one semester here, go back to Berlin for one semester, but the minimum duration actually should be three semesters. Now, the message is, whenever your parents will notice they cannot afford it anymore, coming back actually to the GUC will always be possible, meaning you will be enrolled in both universities and everyone who wants actually to come back will be able actually to do it. Good news for the GUC, good news for the GUC students. Again, these news are, let's say, recent news that we heard about them last Thursday, and this will be communicated through email to all of you. Okay? <laughs> now, uh, let me go back. And uh, let's go, Dilwati, to the core, let's say, to the core of uh, this presentation, uh, which, will be about, which will be about the faculties, the faculties of MET and IET.